Welcome back everyone. So back on the farm picking some cherries today and uh, been very lucky that the uh, the weather looks like it's going to be really nice. We had a lot of rain last night and uh, during the day as well. But if you join me in the cherry orchard picking some cherries finally. So basically uh, we've got these buckets down here. They're on hooks. Hook them onto the tree. Pick the cherry by the stem, a little twist, and there you go. That's the cherry picked. Pop it in the bucket, and it's that simple. Um, we've got a medium water today, so we haven't got, got to go flat out, but there's a lot of cherries to pick, so I'm going to crack on. This tree is absolutely laden with cherries, but we need a step ladder to get to the top of them because these are a bit more aged trees, should we say, or certainly older than some of the, the new ones that we've put in. But yeah, this whole orchard is just packed. And this is only some of the trees. We've got loads more by the house. We've got some more in the sheep pasture, but predominantly this is where we pick and it's just absolutely laden. But unfortunately, we have had some rain and then we have some sun and it causes the cherries to split. So unfortunately, these ones are discarded. Um, we put them in a separate pot and the animals get, get, get them for a, a treat later on. So nothing goes to waste. Um, and yeah, so this is gonna be my day. Just the first bucket done. Uh, that bucket uh, should give us a couple of boxes, probably about four kilos there, maybe a bit more. But um, yeah, got plenty more to pick, so I'm gonna crack on. So we just got back to the farmhouse and uh, the wonderful Julie, she's sorting out the cherries. Obviously we pick the best ones we can, but then Julie sorts them out, weighs them and puts them into the cherry boxes and then it's ready for distribution. What do you think? Yep. They're good? Yep, yep. I'm um, quality control. Yeah, that's what you'd, I think that's what you'd call me. Well, she does a better job than me anyway. Uh -huh. So that's it. That's me done for the day. Um, it did, uh, sorry, it did just start raining uh, towards the end, but we got the order picked and um, yeah, just waiting to hear back to see uh, how much we got to pick tomorrow. So um, yeah. If I'm not picking cherries tomorrow, I'll still be on this farm. I'll just be strimming or um, there's some wood to cut down. There's always something to do, so uh, I'll catch you tomorrow. So, it's the next day. Uh, I'm on my way to the farm and I thought I'd just... Uh, this video, uh, this hillside here. I uh, see it most days when I come to the farm, but when it's all foggy and that, I just it just looks awesome. Um, I spoke to Clint last night. Uh, we're not going to pick cherries today, but we have got a lot of wood to cut up. Uh, and they had a tree trimmed and pruned, so uh, we're just going to sort of take care of that, cut what wood off we can use, and the rest will go up for a burn. Uh, later day, it won't be won't be anytime soon because of the, the weather and the fire bans but um, it's a job that just needs doing and getting out of the way before um, we've got more family coming over so yeah I'm gonna go get on with that and uh, then tonight I've got a, a Portuguese lesson first one uh, it's in Flindau so it's it's on my doorstep but it's six till half eight so it's gonna be a bit of a long day 
but it's something that needs doing. I have to learn Portuguese. Um, you know, me and Lucy have been sort of slacking on that. Really, we speak words, but we don't. Uh, we don't know enough to get a conversation through. We just, just we can get by without it. But you know, it's got to the point now where we we want to learn it. You know, so yeah. See you in a bit. Yeah, just going up with the uh, second tiers and uh, chopping them up into more manageable bits, you know, the main sort of trunks we've done with a chainsaw, the rest I could just do by hand. Um, but yeah, it's just an easy job done, really. Um, especially with the price of wood now, it's so expensive. So I think it's worth it all day long. Some people might look at that and go, oh, it's some really small stuff in there, but it's ideal for kindling. Um, especially with the rental properties in the winter when they want wood, so it's something for nothing. Um, the price of, I think it was a bag of wood in Lidl, is like 460 and it's going to be the same in Continent and everywhere else. But wood's not cheap no more, it's not cheap at all, so it's definitely worth doing in my eyes. I mean, the more money that I save, it's the more money I can spend on Lucy and George, so yeah, it's well worth it. But anyway, I'm going to wrap this. Uh, well, I wrapped a day up. I don't know if I'll film any more during the week. Don't really know what I'm doing. I think I might be going doing some work Saturday, which I could take you along for. But it's just um, just brush cutting, but it's like real thick. So you know, it'll be nice to see the before and after. Um, I've done a done a bit of work for him before. It's basically like a small driveway that he wanted. Um, it was real like it was more like a footpath, and then I cleared it so you could get like a truck up there and. You know, so I think it's basically a ruin that they want to rebuild. But anyway, I'm waffling. Um, this might even be it for this video. I'm not sure. I can't. I don't even know how much we've recorded, to be honest. But um, yeah, perhaps I'll catch you in the next one.